This is the grade four math practice test for TN Ready. Question on this version, number 18. Jenkins Pumpkin Patch has 760 pumpkins this year. That's twice as many pumpkins this year as they had last year. So twice as many this year. That matters. Time matters in this one. I mean, it matters most of the time anyway, unless you're some sort of like Doctor Who situation, but whatever. Um, they have twice as many pumpkins this year as they had last year. How many more pumpkins does Jenkins Pumpkin Patch have this year than they had last year? So let's organize the information in a way that makes it easy to see time-wise. So last year, we had some amount of pumpkins. We're not sure what it is yet. This year, we have 760 pumpkins. We want to go back to the past and figure out how many pumpkins we had last year. That's our uh, part of our ultimate goal in all this. Now, the term twice here means times two. But the times two is applied interestingly. It's only if you go this way. So whatever this is, times two will get me to 760. But if I want to go back in time, I have to use the opposite operation. So instead of going times two from nothing, we're going to go in the other direction, back in time, using the opposite operation, which is, of course, divide. So I'm going to do 760 divided by two. That will tell me how many pumpkins I had last year. So I'll do a little bit of summit long division, not really much. So remember, you handle each place value separately. So 2 goes into 7 three times, because I know 3 times 2 is 6. And if you're not really sure, just make a little multiples list of 2s over here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And then you could put the corresponding um, times or the multiplier next to it. So 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. It's kind of helpful. So in this case, I'm trying to get to somewhere. Seven's not on this list, but 7 would fall right in here. So the best I can do is 2 times 3. So that's where that 3 comes from. Then I do th this here and bring that down. 7 minus 6, there's still one left over, of course. Now I'm going to drop this 6, and now I'm looking for 16. So my little multiples chart isn't long enough. 12, 14, 16, there we go. So that would correspond to 6, 7, and 8. So 2 times 8 is 16. I can put that 8 right there. And then I'm left with nothing. I'm going to bring down nothing. And 2 goes into nothing. I'm going to have to go up. I didn't know I'd have to do that. 2 times 0 is 0. So this becomes this. So 380. And if you want to test it and you get your answer, um, just add it to itself. It's just twice, right? So this plus this, just as a test. 8 and 8 16. You bring the 1 up here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 760. So this is my number that goes last year. But that's not the final answer per se. You'll find that it's relatively the final answer, but whatever. Um, I want to know how many more pumpkins they have. So more in this case, since I'm trying to figure out that we have less pumpkins here, if I want to find more, I need to subtract the two to find it. So 760 minus 380. And here's a little tip. If you're breaking something in half, it's two 380s to get to 760. So if you're subtracting from what you figured out is half from the other one, the other half is what's left. So it's going to be this number. But let's just go through the motions anyway. I need to regroup here. I can't take 8 from 16. 6 minus 3 is 3. So 380 pumpkins. And you don't have to put pumpkins with it. You just put 380 and move on with your life. So there you go. If you have, It's important in this question to understand the order of time, like what you're trying to find. It would be really super easy to say, well, there's twice and it's 760, so I'll do 760 times 2. And then you'll end up getting the wrong answer. And that's what people are most likely to get incorrect with this problem. Or they subtract numbers or something, but there aren't any more numbers. It just says twice. You have to know how to apply twice. You don't want to apply twice th of this number times 2 because we're going back in time to find something that already happened as opposed to something that might happen in the future. So be careful about that.